Hello, welcome back to Kimmy in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to clean and prepare fresh live sea urchin. In Japanese it's called uni, in English we call them sea urchin, in Italian we call them ricci di mare. No matter what you call them, they are so delicious and you have to eat them when they're super fresh and alive. So I got these from the Santa Barbara Fish Market. I believe that they have the best sea urchin in probably the entire United States. Um, I take them home whole and live and clean them myself. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple and pretty fast, so I'll show you how to do it in this video. You can keep them alive in your fridge like this in a brown bag for up to do two days, but I do recommend eating them as soon as possible. So it's totally crazy to see them like move their spines in the bag, but um, I'm just gonna keep them in the fridge for a minute while I get the kitchen prepped and ready to go. We're gonna, cause our uni is so fresh and delicious straight out of the ocean today. We literally saw the guys bringing it in off the boat. We'd gone in to ask for fresh sea urchin at the fish market and they were out. And we went for a walk around. We saw this guy bringing a boat in with boxes of sea urchins and um, we ran back to the fish market and we're like, did new ones come in? Can we buy some now? It was like totally perfect. All right, we're ready to go. So you can see the spines are moving on our sea urchin. That means it's alive and well, that's what we want. You're gonna need a cutting board, a colander, a bowl, and the bowl of icy salted water to rinse the little sacks off in once we get them out of the shell. You're also gonna need some heavy duty scissors. Um, I love the ones from Cutco. You can use gloves, but you don't need to. You just will get some dye on your hands. So we're gonna cut through the center, crack it open, and then scoop out the middle. Go for it. So, you just cut into the center of the uni, the ricci, the urchin, whatever you want to call it, whatever land you come from. You're going to cut the beak out, that's basically like the mouth. And you discard that part of it. for the cut in half, trying to not cut directly on top of the golden part that you're going to eat. Ooh. Beautiful. Yeah, so you eat the golden part and everything else gets thrown away. So the easiest way to get it out is to just spoon it. You can remove the black part gently, that gooiness. And then we have a system where we scoop it out. And then Marco hands it to me. I give it a little bath in the salt water. So we just rinse him off and that's it. I'm gonna put them on the plate over here. You can see that they kind of vary in shades of yellow and golden. Um, I'm gonna use all these little pieces when I make the pasta. I will definitely use some of these bigger chunks for just eating whole. Yummy, can't wait to try it. All right, it's time to taste it. Cheers. First, a little champagne. I believe it's a little bit cheers. Cheers. Salute. And look how beautiful they look. Mmm. So good. Mm -hmm. Oysters don't have anything on uni, honestly. If you like oysters, you'll love uni because it's like sweet, it's briny, it's delicious. Fresh out of the ocean is super essential. But man, is this good. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Kimmy in the Kitchen. Don't forget to like, follow, share, and subscribe for more travel-inspired cooking videos. I will link in the comments below the recipe to spaghetti with fresh Santa Barbara sea urchin, our spaghetti ricci di mare. Buon appetito!